it is me, Angela, your friendly neighborhood hot mess. And um, I wanted to vlog just because we have nothing else going on tonight. I'm, I'm supposed to be editing. Um, I am, how far is this video? So this video is so far 43 minutes long. We're getting near the end. But uh, I'm going to turn around so you can see. It is, um, we're sorting Marvel characters. And uh, we just, I just went through where we sorted Spider-Man, my favorite. And I'm kind of a little upset because in the video, I make a comment saying that I want him to be a Hufflepuff, but he's not. But as I'm editing this video, in the video we're debating on whether or not he's a Ravenclaw or a Gryffindor um, and you'll have to watch the video to figure out which one we ended up sorting him as because it's already out before this vlog goes up. I think it could be a Hufflepuff. Like I think it could be more than just me wanting him to be in my house because think about it. Hufflepuffs. Kind, friendly, just, loyal, patient, unafraid of toil, which you know is just like hardworking. So like, hey Larry. Anyways, he has macaroni in his hand for some reason when we're literally cooking something else. Um, so it's like, he's all of those things. His name is Litter, his little catchphrase, his little thing is like your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. He, he's patient, he's f friendly, he's just, always wanting to do the right thing, he's, he, you know, he's, he's, he might be a Hufflepuff. And I'm kind of sad I didn't see it bef before making the video. Larry is dead set on him being Ravenclaw. I never said I was dead set. I was just saying, Spider-Man, or Pete, actually Peter Parker. I fit into a couple of these groups and it's really hard to decide, but he is really creative. Mm -hmm. He's smart, he's passionate about science. I can't remember, it's been a while since we've seen Homecoming, so I can't remember how much actually delves into I mean, he's smart life. in the movie. He's like on the debate club. Yeah. He invents his things. Like they he's go into his brain he's side. He's dedicated. I mean, I know he's also ded get dedicated to being a superhero as well, so I still think that he could be a Raven Ravenclaw. Myself. No, I 1000% believe he could be a Ravenclaw. Um, but you're spoiling. I told them they have to watch the video to figure out what we sorted them, and you just kind of just spoiled. No, I never said. Anyways, I never said what we decided. Anyways, um, this is what we're, we're doing. It. This is what we're doing tonight. We're making a Hello Fresh. It's one of those subscription meal kit things, and we're cooking crispy hot honey chicken. But Larry has decided that the serving sizes are no. Do you hear that? Yes, story. I okay. decided. Well, we both decided that we need to substitute out the uh, carrots with the macaroni and cheese because... We ain't got, we ain't got time for no vegetables. Uh, but I'm not sure if this is normal. Yeah, the carrots are looking a little sad. <laughs> so we're just not going to... I mean, I don't know. Can you eat carrots that been like that? They're like soft and rubbery. <laughs> Poor little guy. Um, let me know down below. James Can you? Good, though. Can you eat that? I'm just, I've never eaten a carrot that acts like, don't, <coughs> that does that. So we're going to be eating, um, uh, instead, some macaroni to go with it. Um, but yeah, probably vlog more throughout the night if anything comes up. But that's what we're doing right meow. It's cooking. Okay, so here's my beautiful clean plating, as you can tell. Here's how it turned out. <laughs> Chicken's a little crispy, but, uh, Larry full of chives, me not so much. And Larry, you want to go ahead and add the finishing touch? The finishing touch? Since we couldn't use the carrots. Yep. So, yeah. Dinner is served. Can you even see me? I don't know. It's been a while. A new reading vlog! If this is even going to be a reading vlog, because I don't know how much reading I'm going to be doing, because I'm almost through with my book. I'm on page 310 of 355 of Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I have been trying to read this book on and off since like September or October of 2018. And I am finally 
almost done. So that's the thing. I'm going to attempt to take a cute photo for the Instagram, the bookstagram, if you will. Although mine's not really a bookstagram, I just sometimes post pictures of books on there. But uh, my aunt has this really cute table, and uh, I'm going to try to take a cute picture. We'll see. I haven't quite figured out the whole bookstagram thing. I think I'm going to do a video where I try to copy bookstagram photos because I love them, but how do you do it? How do you come up with it? How do you actually do it? How do you have that talent? Can you even see me? I feel like all you can see is my eyeball right now. So, but that's a video for another day. Today, I'm just gonna attempt to take this picture. Hello, fresh meal. We made chicken cheddar fajitas and ignored the messy dishes. Larry, you wanna stand aside so I can show them? He's drizzling the sauce on it right now. Looks yummy. Oh, hang on, hang on. Before oh, you do. Oh. Oh, you gotta do a catchphrase. You gotta do a catchphrase. Gucci Gucci! Oh my god, please. I'm gonna edit that out. <laughs> I was waiting. I don't have time for this. I need to edit. Ignore my dirty laptop screen. Why? 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 Why are you doing this to me? Please wake up. I really need to edit a video.